So you want to learn how to crochet. I don't blame you. I absolutely love crocheting. It's one of my favorite things to do. I do it as much as I can, and there is zero chance that I'm going to sit in front of a TV and not have these hands working. I used to think crocheting was for old people. I only knew grandmothers making blankets for all their grandchildren. And as a matter of fact, even after I started crocheting, I said to my daughter, do you want me to teach you how to crochet? And she said, mom, I'm not 80. So I guess it's a common misconception. But if you look around, you'll see so many crocheted items on high fashion runways, on celebrities, and you can make some really beautiful home decor items. Crocheting has really gained some popularity and I think it's just gonna to continue to grow. So I've decided to start a beginner series because I know when I started, I had a lot of questions. In this beginner series, we're gonna start with the supplies that you'll need to get started. We're gonna move through some basic stitches and then on to some beginner projects. There's nothing like seeing a ball of yarn come to life into something beautiful that you made with your own hands. So I am so glad that you joined me for this series and I'm really excited to share my passion for crocheting with you. So let's get started. Okay, so let's talk supplies. What are you gonna need? Well, obviously you're gonna need a crochet hook. So crochet hooks come in many different sizes and kinds. And when you're first starting out, I would recommend having crochet hooks in five millimeter, six millimeter, some of those middle range hooks. Now there are many different kinds. You can get metal crochet hooks, plastic crochet hooks, and then you can get some that fit your hands nicely, ergonomic hooks, they call them. There's many different hooks. I would say when you're just starting out, get yourself a simple set you can get some on Amazon for uh, $10 to $15, a whole set that includes hooks, stitch markers, a tape measure, uh, and sometimes even scissors. So I would get a basic set to try it out because what one person likes may not be what another person likes. I will do a review on hooks. My absolute favorite hooks are clover hooks. And I know when I first started out, I wanted to know what people thought was the best because I figured I might as well start out with that. But you have to decide for yourself. So that's the first thing you're gonna need, a hook. Next, of course, you're gonna need some yarn. And I recommend starting out with a worsted weight yarn, which is a four weight. And you'll find that number right there on your ball of yarn and an acrylic. A simple acrylic that, um, you know, something like a Red Heart Super Saver, it's not expensive, or a Big Twist from Joann's. Both of these are nice. I actually like Big Twist better. It's a little bit softer. Um, but I would say start out with just an acrylic yarn to practice your basic stitches. Start out with just a single color. Don't get a multicolor yarn because it'll be hard for you to see your stitches and to really learn all about the structure of a stitch. So a plain color, a light color, which will make it easy to see your stitches. And I would say that's the best type to start. Now also on the skein of yarn, you will see where it tells you the size crochet hook that you need also, usually. So for this, it calls for a 5.5 millimeter. So if you just want to start out with the basic stitches, get yourself a ball of yarn with the matching hook and then go through the tutorial on the basic stitches and practice those. And then after that, you'll know, you'll start to know, oh, I like the feel of this hook or I'm looking for something different and same with the yarn. Also, there's so many different fibers and I do videos, unboxings, talking about yarns and fibers and I'll be doing more of that going forward. So those are your two main supplies, your hooks and your yarn. After that, you're gonna need definitely a pair of scissors. I just get a little pair of scissors here. You can use any scissors. 
and a yarn needle. So that's everything you're going to need to start this beginner series. So head on over to the basic stitch video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.